Worship Him in your own way. Worship Him in your own way. If I had to pick one person who took out time with me when I was young, out of my brothers, it would be Ryan. My husband's phone rang, and it was my brother Marvin, I believe it was, from Detroit. And he told us that um, Ronald had been rushed to the hospital. The doctor gave us a history, suffered a severe heart attack. The doctor didn't know how he was even walking around. We had a meeting with the doctor, all the family. We was listening to him. He said, well, he said, what he see, he might as well wake him up and everybody say goodbye to him. They, you know, really wanted us to decide if we wanted them to go ahead and operate. They said, they didn't think operation was going to help. They said Ronald was going to die whether they operated or not. It was a 14-hour surgery. And at the last minute, uh, one of the guys that we knew that was in the uh, surgery room, he came out. He said, go to praying. It's not looking too hot. So we were praying. And then later on, they came and got the immediate family, took us to the small room. And the doctor came in. He said, well, the, the surgery went good. He said, I don't know what happened. I was sewing him up, and his heart just exploded. And he's been dead for five minutes. We put into focus what we were taught all our lives, and that was faith. And we were up against the wall. It was fact and faith, and that was the only choices we had. Either go with the facts of what the doctor said, and all he said was true. He's gonna die, he did die. Those were facts, you know. My family, all of us agreed, we're gonna go the faith route. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench. This thirsting in my soul. So we began to pray. We called everybody we knew and had the whole world, you know, praying for Ronald. Feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup. Fill it up and make me. The most precious thing that I remember in that crisis was my father looked at all of us and said, okay, don't let nothing come in between you all. There's differences among us that need to be dissolved. So the family began to repent to each other, ask forgiveness to each other, crying and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So my father said, Doc, can you try one more time? But this time, can we pray for you? And Doc said, well, sure. So my entire family touched the doctor. We, had, we covered his whole body. We knew we had to fight for our brother. It was a spiritual fight. We had to fight for him. And we refused to take death for an answer. You know, and I know everybody's time is going to come. And when that time comes, it's your time. But we just knew, we just didn't feel like it was his time. It wasn't time for this to happen yet. Sure enough, my cousin came running down the hall saying, great news, great news. And so they're taking Ronald up to recovery. And we just all jumped up and we cried and we prayed and we thanked God. We just had, we had real church in that hospital chapel. Right. 